Today I'm going to be attempting to solve another issue on our 2003-93, and that is figuring out why we have absolutely no AC controls in the car. And I'm thinking the cause of it is a bad blower motor. I'll show you guys the situation here, and uh, this is all still torn apart while we diagnose our uh, electrical draw. But if you look here, you can see we have AC controls. This does this whether the engine's running or not and you get absolutely nothing from them no matter what you do nothing happens there's a chance you're watching this video because your car is doing the exact same thing there's also a chance that you're watching this video because maybe you're seeing water down here in your passenger footwell because it is common for these blower motors to leak it's not a terrible job to get to it is a bit tight down up under here let's go ahead without further ado get into the replacement of it. There's only four tools that you'll need for this job. One of them being a flathead screwdriver, second being a T20 screwdriver, a T25 screwdriver, and lastly, a T20 socket on a small ratchet. So that way we can reach some of the blower motor bolts when that time comes. Our first step in this process is going to be removing the glove box. So first off, we can pop this open, clear out your glove box. This one has just about nothing in it. Down under here, you'll see two T25s that hold part of the glove box in. Then if we pop our glove box back open, there are three more. One in each of these holes here. And our glove box is actually already coming out, which it should not be coming out quite yet. And I see why this last one back in here, can't miss it on the left side, is actually the mounting point for it is cracked. But after you do that, you can pop off this side piece here and then pull the glove box out. The car has automatic climate control like this one does. There's a little tube that goes right here. Um, again, this one was already disconnected. And one thing I actually just realized I forgot what you should do before you pull the glove box out. See there's a light on this side right here. Two little clips for that. Make sure you pull those off and your glove box comes out. At this point, we can actually see our blower motor just sitting right back here. I am noticing a couple of funky things right off the bat. The wiring here. It's all been spliced in, so that's a bit of a concern, but we'll look into that a bit more later. For now, what we need to do is pull off this kick or the side panel here. There should be one T25 holding it in right here. Again, this car is missing that piece, so I'm able to just kind of pull it straight out. And then we have another two connectors for our footwell light right here. To remove the rest of this kick panel down here, there's one more T25 up into this little hole. Once you get that out, there's a little hook back here. At this, you have to kind of push the piece back as well as kind of pull it down to get it unhooked. Actually loosen that one. That little issue solved. You can pull this straight out of the car. But now we can actually remove this T20. And then one more T20 holding this on sits between the blower motor and the actual ducting itself. Should be able to see that pretty easily. Also a T20. Stuck in there pretty good. Wiggle that out right there. Now we can remove the clip for our connector here. Um, there's one little tab on the top and the bottom, so we're just gonna gently unhook that and disconnect the blower motor. With it unplugged, we can now disconnect all seven T20s that hold the blower motor to the actual casing up here. So we're only going to be removing this lower half piece right here. So there's seven T20s and there's also three clips you can see right here. So this is quite difficult to get on camera. When I have it pulled out, I'll show you guys the location of all of these, but you gotta do a little bit of uh, bending and whatnot to uh, really get under there and see them all.
right off the bat, it doesn't take an expert to figure out that these two are different. Um, outside of this one having a couple broken tabs, this is the one out of my car, works perfectly fine. You can see the whole center is completely different though. So I'm not sure if maybe Saab changed parts, part numbers over the year, or if there's a chance maybe this one was already replaced and this is an aftermarket unit. I can feel they seem to have, mine seems to have a little bit less resistance. So what we're gonna do now is plug mine in and hope that solves the issue and let's see. All right, so let's just put the key in the on position, see if anything happens. Looks like we're still not getting anything. And as I looked at this more, I'm pretty sure I know why. If you look back here, you see that on the back of the carpet right there? So sure enough, one of these wires was actually stuck to that carpet. And look at that, that does not look like that is in working condition. So I think what's gonna have to happen is this wire is gonna have to be cut and kind of uh, re-soldered. So I guess we can try and do that now. I got the bad part cut off and the ends of these stripped and I was ready to clip them together and I realized they're different colors. I've red on one side and black on the other. Whereas right here we have red on one side and black on the other. So I think whoever did this might have somehow done positive and negative opposite for whatever reason. I'm not quite sure on that, but I'm gonna pull this one apart too. All right, so got the wires uh, kind of re-secured on the actual right ones. Now we have red and red, black and black like we should. So let's try this here and still have nothing. Well guys, I think I'm gonna end the video there. I know the car is a complete mess, all torn apart, everything. But uh, for reassembly, <laughs> if you're uh, not dealing with a problem like this, which most likely you aren't, uh, first thing you're gonna wanna do, obviously, is put your new blower motor back up uh, into here. You have these helpful clips to kind of guide it into place. Now clip into place first, then you can go ahead and reinsert all seven of your bolts. After that, you can go ahead do your foot well ducting right there, then your foot well kick panel, followed by your side panel, and lastly, of course, the glove box and this little piece right here. But There's a couple items I want to point out here at the end of the video. Number one, I know some of the 9.3 climate control systems have a separate resistor. From what I've found, I believe that is the cars with manual climate control have a separate little resistor that you can also check if you're having a problem like this. Um, ours, however, has automatic climate control. This car was the same as well. Neither of them had resistors uh, that were separate. They were kind of built into the blower motor. So we still haven't figured this out. Um, we believe there's obviously some sort of wiring issue somewhere. We've checked fuses, things like that. So we're gonna need a new blower motor anyways. But uh, thank you guys all so much for watching and see you next time. Take it easy.